Hello, Mzanzi. Welcome to another episode of the Farmer's Inside Track podcast. My name is Duncan Masua, and I'm your host for this episode. We are continuing our series on the South African Wine Industry Professional Body, a program that highlights the skills of hardworking wine industry workers and helps boost their careers, recognizing their vital contributions. Let's have a listen to this interview featuring another move-in shaker in South Africa's wine industry. Hello South African wine lovers, my name is Duncan Masua and welcome back to another episode of the South African Wine Industry Professional Body, also known as SAWIP. Now if you don't know, it's a groundbreaking initiative spearheaded by South Africa Wine. Now this is a first of its kind for the wine industry and if you're ready to take your wine industry career to the next level, you'll definitely want to listen closely. We've been exploring how this initiative will impact South Africa's wine industry, but more importantly, how you can get involved. Joining me in this episode is Pietri de Biel, a passionate advocate for the future of agriculture and sustainable farming. As a senior agricultural economist at Vinpro and the founder of Hovater Agricultural Services. Pietri comes with a wealth of expertise and knowledge. Now, when he's not focused on economics or running his own business, he's an academic working towards his PhD in agricultural economics at the Stellenbosch University. Pietri, welcome to our podcast. Thank you very much for having me. It's a great pleasure. It's definitely great having you. Now, a little birdie told me that you're actually a seasoned winemaker which I find quite uh, interesting and a strong background uh, in, the, in the field of winemaking. What made you fall in love with uh, primary wine production? And tell us how your journey unfolded. I think it's actually quite an interesting story. So I, I come from an agricultural family. So both my grandfathers are farmers and my parents are both agricultural researchers. So I sometimes tell people I don't really know how much of a choice I had <laughs> ending up where I am there was uh, this kind of born in passion for agricultural for agriculture for me and the thing that drew me to wine production specifically is just the dynamic nature of it all I mean what other industry can you be on the farm with the producer in the mornings discussing uh, irrigation and disease pressure issues they are having during the harvest season and the afternoon you have a meeting with a big retailer company uh, discussing marketing plans for your uh, Christmas promotion of your wines yeah uh, I suppose you know one day is never the same uh, every day you're doing something different and with a man with your kind of experience I can imagine that you have a quite a lot of memorable experiences. Take us through some of those experiences and perhaps touch on the challenges as well. I think for me, some of the the greatest experiences is overcoming the challenges that you, you see uh, producers or sellers face. For example, when I was a winemaker, I was the quite a large seller and we were producing Sauvignon Blanc and we had a producer that produced very good Sauvignon Blanc, but it's the, the grapes seemed to kind of lose the flavor over the season. So through trial and error, we kind of figured out we can use these grapes by harvesting them earlier and then using technology like uh, reverse osmosis, enhance the flavors a bit and use them as a blending component to better the whole profile of the wine. So that enabled us to give this producer a higher grading for his grapes, which made him more profitable and a lot happier. And it also benefited the seller because in the end, our product that we were able to deliver to clients were also better. And then discovering these kind of unknown uh, vineyard blocks, working with 60, 70 year old Shannon Blanc, you discover, or 
new cultivars, well not new cultivars actually, a, a lot of old kind of rediscovering cultivars. We we launched Tarona, which is a native cultivar alongside Pinotage. I think a lot of people don't even know that South Africa has seven indigenous cultivars. Wow. Instead of just Pinotage and being able to work with these kind of hidden gems was a, a great privilege for me. Yeah. And I mean, the kind of exper- the kind of knowledge that you have, it comes with experience. What would you say, what specific skills or expertise have you developed uh, throughout your career in wine production that you feel are most valuable or unique? I think the, the great advantage that I have is having worked through the whole value chain of the, the wine industry. So from primary production, interfacing with customers, uh, in the seller processing, doing the economic side, and just seeing, like I said, the, the dynamicness of the, the whole value chain and just how intricate it is. And I think it's one of the the greatest advantages and kind of disadvantages of our industry is because it is so intricate and dynamic, there's so many opportunities, but it makes the challenges so great, especially for individual producers to understand and take advantage of that that whole value chain to the best of, of their abilities. Yeah. You know, SOAP is addressing quite an important gap and that is enhancing skills and knowledge within the wine industry. What made you decide to say yes and uh, share your expertise and times? Um, like I said, seeing this this gap that there is in the industry of, of this knowledge transfer, and I think... The two primary kind of limiting factors for producers are time and then the ability to take up even more complicated issues and new uh, area of expertise. Because these days, if you are a wine producer, you have to be a soil scientist, a climatologist, a viticulturist, (laughs) a labor expert, mechanic chemist, then you're only halfway producing the wine, <laughs> then you still have to be distribution, marketing, packaging, sales. So it makes it so exciting, but very difficult for one person or even a small team to to be able to have all those skills and to be part of a, an initiative that helps to bridge the gaps where there are shortcomings in the industry. So it's great leverage for yeah, you mentioned you know you you've sort of worked in different corners of the value chain. How do you believe your contribution to skills transfer events uh, impact the sustainability and growth of the wine industry as a whole? I think just being able to take into account the the different pieces of of the value chain and how they interact with each other, because we always have to remember that nothing happens in isolation. Every decision you make has consequences up and down the value chain. So just having that insight and because of that experience working throughout the the value chain, knowing which pitfalls to look out for and what consequences your your decisions at a certain stage or process has for, for your whole business. What would your advice be to individuals who are interested uh, in pursuing a career in primary wine production? I think try and get as much experience as as possible and know that there is a lot of options. You are not just limited to being a viticulturist. Like I said, the, the kind of skills you need is so dynamic, you can combine it with basically any other passion that you also have. No matter what it is, is it more art driven you can do kind of more marketing design is it more kind of mechanical engineering there's big needs for uh, that side on the primary production how to optimize uh, production on on the engineering and process level so yeah just start somewhere it starts small we don't don't let it uh, kind of keep you back You've been in the industry for quite some time and you've seen how the industry has evolved over the years. Looking ahead, 
What do you envision uh, for the future of wine production in the country and how do you see your role in that evolving landscape? I see our industry becoming more integrated a lot. Like I said, the, the needs of the, the producers in the industry are changing that you need to be more dynamic and be able to work on different facets of, of the industry. So I'm seeing a closer relationship from primary production right through to distribution and retail. You, you, you're seeing them moving closer together. You're seeing people that are working in primary production kind of guiding uh, the, the product through the, the rest of the value chain. So you'll you'll see producers, winemakers, talking to distributors, talking to retailers, being involved in the marketing strategy, because it is all interconnected, and it will also help us be more sustainable. And I think that's definitely where we are heading towards. And we need to understand the challenges that everybody in the whole industry faces to address those and having a better, closer working relationship will enable us to overcome those challenges regarding sustainability, not just environmental, but social and economic also. South Africa's wine industry 20, 50 years from now, what makes you excited about that future and uh, what do you look most forward to? I am seeing a move towards expressing the true nature and terroir of South African wine industry. So you're seeing producers moving into areas that was not traditionally seen as wine production areas to get a certain expression of wines. We are seeing a redefinition of even our classical wine regions to give a better expression of that specific wine region, not just to make wine, but to make South African wine. So as soon as you pick up a bottle and you taste it, you immediately know this wine was made in South Africa. It can, you can taste the, the mountains, the sea, the whole area, just having that uniqueness towards it. And I suppose to some extent, even taste the winemaker's heart and hand in the bottle that you drink. <laughs> oh, definitely. There's a big, a big part of it. I see this, I think it's one of the few industries where you always have this kind of emotional attachment to the products that you make. Like I say, there's always a little part of yourself that you put into the wine and how you try and express your own being through through the wine. And I think that definitely comes through. You can almost... see the the winemaker's the personality mm. through the wine well there you have it Pietri de Beer senior agricultural economist at Vintra and the founder of Hovater Agricultural Services the sustainability of the wine industry is not just about the vineyards and the environment but it's also about recognizing and investing in the human capital that drives it this initiative aims to enhance the skills, knowledge and professional growth of those working within the industry and ultimately ensuring a thriving and sustainable future. Now where there's wine, there seems to be an enormous amount of progressive thinking. So stay tuned as we delve deeper into this exciting journey. And that's a wrap. Join me again next time as we dive deep into the South African wine industry professional body. Remember to subscribe to our podcast on your favorite platform so you never miss any of our episodes. From me, Duncan Masiwa, our technical producer, Megan van der Vent, and the rest of Hashtag Team Food from Zanzi, thanks for listening. <laughs>